What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. Tonight's video is going to be a sequel to my bash scripting in Linux series, I guess you could call it, that I'm doing. If you haven't seen my first video, please feel free to check out my recent uploads. Uh, but tonight, I'm going to show you guys the evolution of the script that I displayed in that first video. Now, I want to thank everyone who gave me some feedback, either here on YouTube or on Google+. Thank you so much for all, all the positive feedback I got on that. It was really great to see everyone interacting and sharing thoughts and opinions. I did get a lot of people who linked me to some really good information. Um, so thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Now, I also want to point out, and I thought I did a pretty good job in that video of doing so, that script was not supposed to be elaborate. In fact, I think I referred to it as a quick and dirty script. Understand, I wasn't teaching a bunch of Linux gurus how to do advanced bash scripting. My channel is not about that. My channel is trying to reach out to the general Linux population and explain things in a very easy, simple uh, way that most people can understand. So the point of that video was to put something together so simple that after watching that one video, someone could walk away and put a script together themselves. So hopefully some of you were able to do that. Tonight's video, I'm going to show you the evolution of that script and some intermediate techniques that you can use in bash scripting to accomplish the same task. However, this script is going to incorporate a lot of different techniques and it's going to take that same information in that script and get it in more of a orderly fashion. And you'll see what I mean by that when we look at the script. Finally, at the end of the video, I'll actually run the script and show you what it looks like. There will be a link in the video description below as to uh, how to download that script. So if you want to use it, by all means, if you want to use it as a base or uh, maybe make some tweaks to it and make it your own, that would be great. And so let's get into it. All right, here is the script. So let's take a look at what we have here. As you can see, right at the top of the script, starting with line three, I'm using echo. Echo allows you to display a message within the terminal when the script is executed. So this particular case, I have this kind of little design, which is something I would do in my Android ROMs when you go to install Redemption ROM, there would always be this little message displayed and I would actually include a picture of the Linux Penguin in that particular prompt. I was going to do it here and I probably should, um, but that's neither here nor there. So uh, Echo lets you display a particular message. Now if you look on line 4, I have Echo Tech E. What this is going to allow me to do, now following that, I also have a backslash 033 bracket 33M. What that is telling the script to do is change the color of the following text that's going to be outputted. Okay, in this case, I'm using the uh, color yellow. Why did I do that? When the script is running, it's easier to see the different tasks, in my opinion, that are being performed when this color of the script changes. It just stands out. That's why I'm using that. Line 16, I'm using read, read tech P. What this is going to allow me to do is it's as you can see it says press enter key to start it's allowing me to have the user be prompted and hit enter before the process begins now I kinda skipped ahead a little bit on line 14 you see sleep 2 what sleep does is it essentially just pauses for a given amount of time so if you don't indicate minutes or so on and so forth it's going to be assumed that you want seconds so in this particular case, I have sleep two. So I wanted there to be a two second pause between the time that the particular uh, dialog box above was displayed and the read message with the hit enter key to start um, was displayed. Okay, so line 19 is another good example of echo. So we've got this may take a while, grab a coffee and relax. Line 22, now line 22, I have commented that out. So if you're actually just reading the script and not running it, you can uh, better kind of to see the different sections and what's being accomplished in each section. It just makes things a little bit more orderly. So what we're gonna do here, of course, is update our sources and do a system upgrade. Now line 26, you'll see when the script runs, that echo tech E, and then the following um, bit of text there is telling the script to change the color from yellow, which I indicated above, back to the default color of the terminal, which is in my case, white. 
So the white, it's going to display white text. Line 29 is going to be our dist upgrade. Line 35, we're going to install our commonly used applications. Line 41 is installing 32-bit libraries for 64-bit systems. Now, I'll draw your attention to line 44. Pseudo app get update tech QQ. Basically, what that will do is instead of when you would normally hit uh, indicate pseudo app get update, uh, that command and hit enter, it's going to scroll all your sources uh, list within the terminal. Now we're going to do that a few times, especially when we get into adding PPA. So rather than having that happen a million times within the script, for me, my preference was to hide that scrolling sources list as it updates. So the TAC QQ is going to do that. It'll perform the uh, update, but it will do it in a way that does not display it in the terminal. It just makes things a little bit neater. So line 50, we're going to be setting up our PPAs at this point. 54, installing PPA applications. So you do that, of course, with your sudo add apt repository. I use the TAC Y, so it's, I won't be prompted uh, to indicate yes or no during that process. Now we're going to do this, of course, for the GIMP, Handbrake, and OpenShot. Line 70. We're adding the Xorg Edgers PPA. 76, we're installing the Ubuntu Restricted Extras. Line 82, we're cleaning our apt cache. And then finally, um, on you know, we're finishing up the script on line 88. And line 89, again, we're using Echo Tech E to uh, change the color from yellow back to the default color in your terminal and in my case it is white and finally we're going to be exiting the script so as you can see things are a little bit more orderly a little bit easier to read and we're accomplishing the exact same tasks as we did with our first script but I'll show you when this script runs that some of the different uh, bash scripting techniques that are executed and accomplished using this particular script so we'll open up another terminal window, bring you guys in here a little bit closer, and let's run that script. So as you can see, my yellow text has been displayed. There was that brief pause, and now it's indicating uh, on in the terminal for me to hit the enter key to start. <laughs> There's my, my little message. And before we update sources, it's asking us to supply a root password. So let's do that. Now this is the only time I actually have the sources displayed is initially. Now we're performing our system upgrade, which there are a few packages that need to, need to be upgraded. Installing all of our commonly used applications. There's nothing to do, of course, because I have them installed. We're silently updating our sources here because I indicated it, uh, a silent update with our TAC QQ. We're setting up our PPAs. Of course, the first is OpenShot. And now the GIMP. Moving on to Handbrake. As you can see, the yellow. Um, in the output, having that message displayed in yellow really helps it stand out amongst everything else that's going on. So again, it keeps it a little bit more orderly and it helps for anyone who's actually running this script to know what's going on. Is it? And of course, these brief pauses also keep that text from scrolling very quickly and um, not allowing you to see what's going on in, in, the, in the given script here. So everything's done. We cleaned our apt, apt cache at the end and we finally finished. So that uh, is the same tasks that were being done in the first script. However, this shows you some different techniques implemented to make the script a little bit more orderly and a little bit easier to read as it's uh, being executed. So hopefully you guys learned a couple of things in this video. If so, leave a comment in the comment section below if you'd like to have a discussion with me regarding really anything, whether it be Linux or Android or um, if you just want to kind of shoot the breeze, you can find me in IRC, uh, Freenode, and the channel is Oh Hey It's Lou. 
Once again, guys, I really appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.